isn't anxious to fight Polo, but you wonder have age plus wear and tear. Exactly. If he doesn't crowd, but you wonder if it might probably doesn't hit as hard as Manny Pacquiao. So that a big plus. Of Mexican fighters to a great extent, are very aggressive. Affair, but in retrospect, that was ill-advised strategy. Marquez a counter party. Uh, and Marquez has a good left hook. This is not his money play. Good right hand by Marquez. Oh, sort of low-key type uh, guy in the corner. A long right hand. Now for Victor Polo, this is the ooh, there's the hard, the big right by Marquez. This Marquez is, he just barely missed that, but Steve, that's the trick. Oh, now he's mixing in those hooks. And you know what he's done? By getting off to a good start, he's forcing Polo to champion of the IBF and the WBA. He comes right back, good exchange. He's scheduled for 12. Yeah, Marquez just brimming with confidence now. Good right. So a lot on the line clearly for him. 34. A couple of the titles. Marquez told us he was targeting the big names who left. Marquez shooting his Looks to be winning easily, very consistent, throws a similar And talk about Juan Manuel Marquez right now. Some of the crowd is a little disenchanted with the fact there's not a skilled one, but, you know, that doesn't resonate, especially here. But you're right, he'll just, he doesn't care. He, he'll do whatever it takes to win. Take risks in his last fight against Orlando Salido. Fainting more with the jab, throwing more jabs, and now throwing more straight left hands. Better. IBF WBA featherweight title. Juan Manuel Marquez. Weeks after Marquez won his featherweight title in 2003, and uh, lots of talent in that. And a good straight left by Polo. He's starting to land a little. Works, and that is to use the jabs to set up the straight left. And there is one of those from the New York Daily News. Polo gaining in. In some ways, though, this is precisely what Victor Polo doesn't want. A fight in which. A very, very close round here. You're not, not, not going to stick around to fight your, your son, are you? <laughs> no, thank you very much. Both Julios, congratulations. We look forward to seeing you on the 28th. Don't get hurt. Thank you, thank you. Notice how Marquez just doesn't initiate action that often. There he throws a wild. He knew he had to, even though Pacquiao's an aggressive fighter and comes in. Still, he is, you need to do that. Polo is landing right. And he's scoring. But there's the counter punching mark. And a long left. Here comes Marquez going to the. In boxing. Today, since Prince Nassim Hamed, oh, good exchange here. Turn on up, have uh, exhibited explosive power. Speaking of power, the right hand down for the fifth time in his career. Polo with a straight right upstairs. And how characteristic of Marquez is he rushing in to try and finish him? Uh, getting involved, Richard Steele, Hall of Fame, a referee, plus an ordained minister. Big round for Marquez. Eluding the attempts of Victor Polo. Oh, I can forget about the fact that when he's in against a conventional righty, he can get a lot more done. Right, so it, it, he should maybe crank a few more of those up as this fight wears on. Marquez comfortably in front as we enter round eight. And Marquez goes right back. Victor Polo is a very, very good featherweight. Part of the reason we've seen Victor Polo throw mostly straight jabs and left with his hands. Like there. Straight right, right on the nose. Range. He keeps his range, but he gets in just in a title fight. I was there for that fight, and I do believe uh, that was not a knockdown. No, it stepped on his foot. And that made round eight. Marquez going to work as Polo against the ropes. Hard as Manny Pacquiao. But up the straight left with the, the right jab there's the press row scoring oh a left hook followed by a straight right though has to offer so 
There's a good straight left hand by Polo. And the idea of him fighting Scott Harrison is a delicious thought for boxing fans because they will be weak. Classes yep. are becoming today's thing in boxing. A really good one that's on tap, and that's it's great. That's the way it should be. A straight right hand. Always has been. Another one by Marquez, and another two straight right hands. That's the first time we've seen that all night. We're already in around 10. Usually when they have a southpaw, heads come together and feet get tangled. We haven't seen chance of Mexico to get behind. Well, as Al pointed out by both the IBF and WBA. Yes. Marquez is probably the best of the featherweight. First, they have to fight hook. Great left hand, but... Uh, Oh, Marquez with a corkscrew right uppercut. Victor Polo's faced with the dilemma. I need to attack more, but when I attack, I get hit with punches like that. So Marquez scoring at it. That Scott Harrison, Michael Brody fight. Harrison will be defending his title be June 3rd, just to do. And we're happy Nick's back and feeling good. Has it by nine points. That's the widest margin. Built from MaxBoxing.com. Polo extend his lead. Polo has not... Been able to solve the formidable defense. The only difference, not much drama in this decision as in his past four. Probably would have to knock Marquez out to win this fight. In round seven. Marquez pushing Polo back. Absolutely right on target. Yeah, unfortunately, the part that was missing was exactly how he's supposed to create this round once. And it has worked. Fight. Yep. I've heard that so yeah Marquez I have Marquez but nothing to get in his way he is going this is the throw combinations he's very quick there's a left hook by Marquez that, that shows you how quick his hands are Masterful boxing performance by the this fight with a very good 12th round and you know people remember the last thing they've seen Juan Manuel Marquez